How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to animation before computers by the odd ones out. Alright, so I couldn't have, like, planned this any worse, you know, with, like, in a nutshell and stuff like that, but, like, I, I, I slept on this is what I'm trying to say, but, like, no longer, man. I'm really excited to get this going because, like, animation, obviously, is, like, my number one passion, I want to say, because, like, one, I'm react to nothing but animation like two i went to school to try to be an animator that didn't work out too well i just dropped out and then like just all in all like my whole life revolves about animation man like cartoons growing up and like i haven't stopped like i kept going with cartoons and stuff like that and like just like i said like i react to nothing but animation so this should be a subject that i really really invested in you know so i'm kind of I regret that I slept on it for so long, you know, but no time like the pleasant, better late than never, whatever you want to say, like, and positivity, you know, so, like, I'm really, really excited to get this going, and, like, it has been a while since I reacted to, like, anything Odd Ones Out, so it should be really, really exciting, just, like, not necessarily a breath of, breath of fresh air, but, like, it should be really, really enjoyable to get, like, a return of James, you know, it should be really, really cool, so without any further ado, here is Animation Before Computers. When you're watching any animated piece of media, I yes. think it's easy to forget that you're watching hey, my little pony. move. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Me? Is that what real, though? What kind of Harry Potter dark magic is this? <laughs> Since when did drawings move? I drew a no, it's really a cool. Once, I love it. Moved at all, not even to play fetch. Well, what you're really watching isn't actually moving. What you're really watching is a Did series of that hard? frames played at a rapid speed on a liquid crystal it. display screen that emit liquid photons crystal into display. your eyeballs. Didn't know what it was called. They get processed by your brain into what you don't have to go that hard, man. Movement. Why do you have a browser it brain? All a trickery, you see. A ruse that you. My favorite thing with like old school singer. cartoons is like now, picturing what's gonna move, you know, because it's a different shade or something. Of the frame rate. But what I yeah. want you to understand <laughs> and is how that to break in cartoons, every head turn, every blink, a everything, every, everything movement that yeah. <laughs> happens had to be meticulously drawn by a person it's who crazy. studied anatomy and knows about physics and movement, knowing full Thank you for well the that their drawing was only logo, going logo. to be seen you actually for censored a fraction it. of a fraction of a second. And you weren't even watching. You were on your phone. Hey, live before time. Today, I would like to turn to back watch that the religiously. sands of time and talk about some of the ways animators were able to achieve the illusion of life without the help of modern technology. I hope by watching, you can better understand. I already love it, man. It's hundred percent what I thought it was going to be, by the way. Because the amount of say 55 and hard work that goes into just making drawings move is For unreal. Real. And if you're like Can you imagine the first ever like animation history Snow White and stuff like that, you know? Must have took forever. Uh, I didn't have a lot of friends growing up either. Oh, now, we rude. know that animation is just copious amounts of like drawings being shown in rapid succession. <laughs> but how the f are we going to get people to look at copious amounts of drawings in rapid succession without a computer? Like really well, fast. Believe it or not, there's actually quite a Flip few it. things we can do without even having to use a camera. One method we can try is by drawing out or the one where they're in like a stack of paper. I know uh, that's, that's the first thing I was talking about. Part, but yeah. after we're done doing that, we'll hang up all our drawings side by side. I used to make like rubber balls that turned into wall. stuff. Then we'll ride a bike next to the that's, wall. I love and that. Continuously have our head turned a car? facing the wall. And, and have like speed bumps to make it enough, a we'll song. We'll zip by the drawing so fast that it'll look like they're moving. <laughs> Why don't you just put it in a carousel? Is that what they're called? That's awesome. Okay, you're probably thinking, that's not how animation is made. <laughs> and you're right. This method of animation is totally impractical, but not it's impossible. This type of human transportational animation hey, has Jesus. been done before in subway tunnels with the results looking pretty legit. I mean, this that movie is looks awesome. like it's totally moving. Oh. I might as well be in the cinema. And for those of the gamer hey, variety, can that be an idea? YouTuber just have TVs Pale in the tunnels? Was able to achieve or just this? Of animation flawlessly in Minecraft. Let's go. But if you wanted to do something more practical, you could instead take your drawings off the really long wall and then stack them up like a book and then oh. just flip through the paper flip quickly. Book? Making a flip book. That's the first thing if I was talking about. you have some sticky notes lying around that you forgot about in a yes. junk store somewhere, you, you can make a there. pretty simple ball bouncing hey. animation <laughs> really quickly. 100%. I think that's like... If you know, you're an artist, you have to do that at least fact, once, this man. Type of hey, Animorphs! Was featured in every I talked about them in another video. Animorphs books, which I never read. I would just yeah, it's at the, the pages yeah, watch the just watch them. The corner transform into elephants. Dude, that was my favorite thing in the library. Weird blue alien centaur. Thing. And then I picked up R. L. Stein. Heck was going on in these books, man? <laughs> okay, this next method of showing people drawings in rapid <laughs> succession—it's going to be a little bit crazy. 
I don't want to freak just a little you bit. out, but hey, that's it's what I was talking about. On the same level as rocket science, okay? <laughs> We're gonna have to jump up a whole dimension for this. Oh one. my god, what you're three going dimensional? To do is sculpt out a three dimensional figure of whatever you want to animate. Is Let's that how animate... your animations are done? I don't know. This guy jumping. So okay. First, I'm gonna sculpt my guy just three saying, dimension. Just being a dude. This just will be frame one. The stop now, motion. Okay, I know some of you are probably <laughs> thinking. Oh, I see where this is going. You're Why is it so real? The sculpture, then change its pose slightly. Take a uh, picture of I that. I was literally just going to say that. Change the pose over and yeah, over. Stop motion. Continuously starting and <laughs> stopping <laughs> the camera, making it seem like our subject has some sort of m m m motion. Ah! <laughs> no, actually, we got we're there not going to be doing any of that. Really? Cameras haven't been invented yet in this hypothetical. Oh. What we're doing instead oh. is making doing? a whole new sculpture that will be the next frame of our animation. I'm sorry. So it'll be our guy again, bending his legs a little bit. I'd rather not. Jump. Is that how Star Wars right, is made? That's frame two. <laughs> now let's do this a total of, I don't know, Billion? 16 times. That oh, good. that's it? Let's also make the 16th sculpture look like it came before the first sculpture. So do you understand? It's going to go from the 16th sculpture back to the first one. It's, they know it's how TikToks work. Like a TikTok. That was a TikTok loop. You are now in my brain. Well, he is the parallel version of me, so and it makes sense. out evenly on a round table. Sorry, Arthur. Oh, I'm, gonna need I'm sorry. Now, make the table. Can we have that Arthur movie? That's that's on you to figure out how to do. I don't know. Maybe lazy the Susan guy from the first example. No, or he something. doesn't need it. I doubt it. any of you are actually following along. Let him rest. If you are, I am. I love this shit. On a spinning table. Oh, right not literally. Now. No, I gotta like quick. so right, many Dr. Pepper cans. And now for the final step. Turn your lights on and off really quickly. And if we did everything right, the effect we get is mesmerizing. Okay. Oh. Are those Legos? I've seen something like this, but I can't quite. I think it was a horse, but I could be wrong. But this What's is bizarre. Is that the light shines at the first sculpture, and then we turn the lights off. Cool. Ah. <laughs> then, the, as cool. the table spins, the light will turn back on when the second sculpture is in the same position uh -huh. as the first. It's literally so like those the machine things that are in the same spot, things? and we turn them off when yeah. they're not. And what we end up seeing is all of our figures standing in a circle, performing the animation. That is and crazy. Register that the I love thing that. Is I love and that so much. Congratulations! You all know what a zoetrope is. Zoetrope, which I know is a pretty fun word that you can whip out at parties. Like, yeah. I know a unique word that starts with the letter Z that isn't zebra. The phone. Another zebra. fun thing about the zoetrope was that a 3D oh. rendering of one was featured in the season two opening of Mob Psycho 100. Oh. So that's what that spinning thing in the intro was. Gotcha. It was a zoetrope. <laughs> Wasn't a pendulum. Zoetrope. Zoetrope. Okay, I got it, man. About one more way we can show people drawing in quick succession without a camera. I thought that was and on a room, the easiest method by far. So all Let we need it. is this glitchy abstract drawing. Hey, like and you're gonna put huh. the. Pretty cool. I know all random, of these, right? Except it's not. It's not random at all. I lied. I'm Every so line here is placed very deliberately. I've seen someone do the uh, the if question we take mark this floppy block, transparent block sheet thing full of from vertical bars and cover up most of the Mario. drawing. Hey, look at that. I already saw the it The outline move. we end up seeing looks like one of them kitty cats. It is Now, a if we slide the transparent sheet over and it. reveal different parts of the drawing. Too look, fast. It looks like a kitty cat so in a different position. And if we keep sliding the sheet over, that? revealing different high, parts of the drawing. High voice. Look at him go. This He's is called getting a it. barrier grid animation. And with the right Never knew what it was drawing, called, but that is you can awesome. Make all sorts of animations that don't hurt to look at at all. And ah, also, no, what are you talking about? Point out it's not like that red thing that Nintendo made. was also featured in the season two <laughs> opening of Mob Psycho 100. Well, they are just hey, the bee's knees, huh? Anime later, so 100 percent. Mainly the dual disc. Yu-Gi-Oh! Hell yeah! Succession. I don't know if there's a word for it, but I'm calling it physical animation, like animation yeah? you can hold and touch yeah. with your fingers. You know, all like those old school movies, cat practical animation effects. Memes, those, that's digital animation, mm. right? This is physical. It's the real physical. Mm. But there's one form of physical animation <laughs> like that we haven't talked shit. about yet mm. that's unarguably the most popular and the most important form of physical animation hey, to have that's ever how they did existed Sleeping Beauty. on Earth. Excuse me. Okay, now <laughs> we're going to use cameras. Okay, they, they uh, finally mm. figured it out. Are you With sure? The invention of film, I don't believe showing you. people multiple images in quick succession had never been easier. Now we can take something from uh, real I, life, uh, burn an image of that into a film strip, I knew that's what it, happened. And then shine a light through it again to yeah. get a recreation of the image. 
And if we just make a movie, this whole strip of film over it's a the movie. strobe light, yes. we get moving pictures. Oh. That's why they're called movies, because they move. What the fuck? A lot of times, film was used to capture I knew the movements that of real people, but it was also used in the same way to capture yeah. the movements of people of Let's the go, animated variety. Let's Hopefully, he talks about what I was old, saying. Old cartoon. Yes. Yes. Animated Holy shit! Yes. The first time Batman has ever appeared in the animation form. Mine was actually the really, Superman really one, even though I hate Superman. Cartoon that had onomatopoeias appear on the screen during Bear. fight scenes. Bear. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Except they didn't. <laughs> yeah. They didn't do that in the cartoon. No, Visually it was just the Adam West one. Garbage of impacts was exclusively an Adam West thing. In the cartoon, You're talking superheroes, man. I'm all about superheroes. <laughs> hey, can I ask you a thought-provoking question? Okay. What the f*** am I looking at? I know it's Batman, Batman high-kicking a goon, but how is it moving? This frame was captured on film, so there had to be a physical camera to capture it, right? So where is this Alfred, drawing? what are you it's holding? It's not on a computer. Computers in the 60s looked like this. Yeah. So where is this? So every animated movie and animated TV show and animated huh. anime uh, before anime? the year 2000-ish used what's called... Cell animation. Let's this go. Frame of I want to get some of those cell painted. things so That's bad, right. man. Painted like some of my favorite TV shows, or cartoons. A transparent celluloid sheet or cell, and then this transparent sheet oh, was laid how do you on have top that? of a hand-painted background. Unless you and then this goon that got kicked, well, he had to be painted on his own cell sheet too. And then this image of it's like Photoshop, but like was before Photoshop was the thing. I love it. Strip. Then okay. the Batman I think cell would it. come off and be replaced by a whole new hand-painted cell of Batman. And then, and then just take that, that frame would be captured. And then the whole process would repeat that again is and again crazy, until my the man. shot was done. This one shot that lasted a little over a second used 14 different hand-painted drawings That's of so Batman. That's so cool. And the goon had it makes six me like, just for a second. Watch now, man. because having to hand-paint 20 different images for one second is insane, That's it. That's all there are clip. some things we can Who do to that? cut corners without having to sacrifice too much quality. Reason? Like in this shot, Robin takes five frames to turn his head, but his body doesn't move. So we can paint his body once on its own cell, yeah. and now we only need to paint five different heads. And since we already Easy. have all the frames painted, we can just comics use well. the same frames in reverse to make his head turn the other way. <laughs> and you don't need to pay a background artist to paint a background if you just use blue. Yeah. A big part of cell animation was being able to animate pieces of a character independently of each other. That's, actually That's why they have why like so many old cartoon characters. I'll just let him talk. <laughs> around their necks, so the animators like I said, I love animation. Man. Heads from their bodies, making it easier to animate. Super easy, Fred barely an inconvenience. That ascot just because it was trendy. One of the nice things about using a computer to animate is that you can play back so when you gloves and stuff and as well. Clearly, see if your timing is correct and if there's any quick adjustments you can make. Being able to see what your previous oh. frames are is so important. There's actually a term for it called onion skinning. But Onion animators skinning? pre-2K didn't have computers to rewatch ah. their work. So here's what they did instead. Before they even put paint onto a cell, they first had to draw all their frames out onto a piece of paper. And they didn't work on the frames. God, in talk about kind of time order. consuming, man. Like they didn't go, okay, I just drew the first frame of but Batman. But like they cared, okay, right? The like you know they cared okay, because it took go that do long. The third frame of Batman. Okay, okay, you do the fourth frame though. That way of animating is called he's straight ahead get it animation, done. and some Ooh. people use it, but the results look pretty chaotic, but it's still used pretty like effectively it. for effects and concert visuals. But most of the time, animators will animate a character from pose to pose. They'll draw out all the important key poses a character will make on paper, and then they'll hold the pieces of paper between oh, each yeah. of their fingers. <laughs> all those behind-the-scenes Disney deals, man. Just to get an idea of what a drawing that goes in between those key poses would look Freaking like. crazy That's to think about. Just and, like, like, I know it takes, like, forever to, to do, playback of their but I miss it, man. I miss it so much. Was captured on film like I said, like, you felt it. They just had to trust now their it's all page flipping technique and their highly trained eyeballs oh. and go... Yeah, Good that enough. looks about right. <laughs> Let's bring out the paint. And because there are hundreds of shots, if all not thousands, to be animated without a computer. To the Batmobile. Can you really blame the animators that some shots of Batman no, look not like at this? all. Or this? That's fine. That's fine. It was old. Remember, old things are bad. Don't put. 
okay, I kind of have a secret. You have a habit, man. Remember when I said, let's look at an old, old cartoon? Well, I might have overemphasized how old the Batman cartoon is. By the time the Batman cartoon came out, Uh the movie Bambi had been out for 25 years. And are you aware of Holy how shit. fluid the animation in Bambi is? Yes. You should have talked about Snow White, though. Bambi goes so f***ing hard. It does. Walt literally brought in deer from the f***ing woods yes, into he their did. studio just so the animators could be like, oh, that's neat. That's how deers move. I Okay, I understand this more now. What the f***? <laughs> I honestly thought the Batman show came out I had a little deer ear in my ear once. That was fun. Because of like, nibble, not... Obviously, these two things were created by different studios with different animators and That's different fair. budgets. 100%. And TV animation always has to create more animation per budget. But all the same techniques and equipment used to make an episode of Batman were the exact same techniques and equipment used that to is make fair. an episode of Bambi. It's just all about the money and the name, right? Batman. I'm more so impressed with how amazing Bambi looks. Especially since while it came out, it's like, let's look at it the other way. Oh my happening. god. So because some sheets were used to animate every TV show, movie, and anime there has ever been before the year 2000-ish, by Ish. my calculations, there are millions of cell sheets out there. Yes. Like this single frame of Batman kicking, it's on a cell sheet somewhere. And more importantly, who owns it? Many of the cells ah. that still exist cell. have ah. been sold to the general public. But because of how the paint I want some, I don't care time what it is, works, man. Cell sheets need to be it kept so very cool. well preserved. So oh, since cells are very not. hard to preserve, and because they're not making any new ones, some cells are worth a lot of money. Oh, this cell spirited and original way. background from My Neighbor Totoro Sorry, sold got for eighty-four thousand dollars. <laughs> While I'm writing the script, there's currently an auction going on for this cell from the Jungle Book for ten thousand dollars, and I own this cell. I have a comic Squidward that's worth fourteen thousand dollars. That I got at a convention for three hundred dollars. That's it's fair, a, man. Not an original background. Who the cares? That looks print, amazing. And it's actually not even the correct background yeah. for the, the shot. But I'm just pointing out that not he, all he owns that are part. thousands of dollars. You know, they've made millions of these. So you can you can get a sell from a TV show for like, for a couple hundred. And then you get to own a frame of animation. It's like the actual show. You, like, it's pretty dope, man. It's super cool. That's this what NFTs are supposed to be, dude. Belongs to me. But no, stupid you crypto people have, have it. it. So if you ever visit some friends who really like cartoons, there's a good chance that they have an animation cell somewhere on display. That one's so bad. You have no idea. There's a handful of ways that animators were able to achieve the illusion of life without a computer. And I do just want to say, what? just because something was animated on a computer doesn't make it any less artistic. That is yes, fair. It took me a long time to realize that, man. More streamlined, Not going to lie. It's still a human expressing their creativity and being in that control of that. Did you hear me? Yes. It's a human expressing themselves. <laughs> oh, AIs. <laughs> and being in control of creativity. creativity. Guys. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit about animation Maybe dial history. down on the AI. There's still Don't just say it's you. I didn't get to cover. <laughs> like, how did Walt animate this panning, parallaxing shot of Bambi where the trees move on separate layers? I actually kind of know that. What technology did they it has create different layers. to make trees oh. move at different speeds? So much hard work it's pretty and cool, talent man. is involved. I think in uh, Sleeping Beauty was the first one to ever do like the and layering of thing. And we're able to tell incredible stories that are nothing like anything we ever see Thanks in for our watching. day-to-day lives. Thank you for making. And before I go, can we talk about oh. the intro to the Batman Let's go. series, please? Yes, please. Oh my god. I just want to go over some quick announcements. So you're gonna da 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 Novel. stores like Target I still need to watch your show, but I really don't want to do Netflix. I'll probably see you all in the new year, so uh, happy new year. Bye. Thank you. It's okay, I felt like that wasn't done. All right, man. So pretty much like I, I it was a lot of familiar, familiar, a lot of familiar stuff. <laughs>
because I'm like so used to like animation and stuff and like it fascinates me so much you know to where like I wanted to learn more about it and stuff and like growing up like whenever they started doing like the uh transitioning into like the digital art and like digital cartoons and stuff like that like I hated it at the time you know like with the freaking comic books and stuff like that like it's just I don't know it felt like the the feeling wasn't there you know like the passion wasn't there and like in a kind of roundabout way that is technically true you know because like back then they had to like pour their blood sweat and tears pretty much literally you know like every time they do a cartoon so like I understand why they'd want to do it way easier in the future you know but like to me that kind of like rips the soul out of it in a way you know I know that's just like nitpicking and like even he was trying to say like look just because a computer makes it nowadays doesn't mean there's any like less soul into it there's still a human at the end of it you know besides not counting AIs obviously that's like an entirely different beast but like this was so enjoyable like even though I knew like a lot of information about it and stuff like that it was still like so it was just lovely to watch like James try to like try to tell you about it you know like try to give you like a bunch of information and stuff like that which I love man like his humor is like literally up there with mine you know it's like almost the same exact as mine so like I always talk about how he's like a parallel universe for me because like we have a lot of similarities man even like talking about this like I was gonna say something and he'd say it you know like it was just really really cool having that happen you know so like it, I guess like you know my passion is real <laughs> Oh, no, man, this is amazing. Like, speaking of animation, you know, this animation was solid, dude. Like, the freaking lines are so crisp, and I wish there was, like, a, another way for me to describe that whenever I want, I see something like that. But, like, that, that's my best explanation, you know, is, like, the lines are so crisp. They're so clean, and, like, the movement is so smooth, and, like, I love that so much. And it seems like every single video he comes out with, he one-ups himself, you know? And, like, I feel bad for not commenting about that every single time I see it, but, like, this one is kind of different. I react to it differently than I do Minecraft animations, you know? But, like, all in all, fantastic. I cannot get enough of odd ones out, man. It's just something about it. It's just amazing. So, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Leave a like down below, subscribe, ring the bell, become a member. You get videos a day early, and check out the merch. So, with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later, dudes.